So right around the corner is the demonstration. I thought we'd just move round to the choir bit to have a word with the minister. OK, I'm not quite sure of your credentials because, I mean, we've got Ralph Peake and co all going at you for trying to get something down at Quarterbridge and you're saying, no, no, everything's fine. So come on, give us your credentials for climate change well climate change is happening that's for sure mm. and uh, we need to address it and uh, this demonstration is, is, is great in a way uh, you know it shows that uh, there's youth involvement and buy-in and uh, maybe they'll persuade some of their parents that uh, these things are happening but what are you doing I mean, you and the government doing? Well, uh, personally, um, I'm moving forward a climate change strategy. We, uh, on Tuesday, I'll be giving a statement to Tim Wald, uh, quite a comprehensive statement about where we are, what we've done in the past and where, where we're going. And that will launch a consultation, a very comprehensive consultation, over 50 questions, mm. uh, asking the public what they want us to do and the appetite for change. And uh, we're talking about things like uh, onshore wind turbines and things like that. So we, we need to find out whether... You know, people will buy into this because it's it's not all stink. Mm. It's got to be some carrot. I, I think as soon as you see it onshore wind turbines, I think most people are going to go, well, don't want it in my backyard, but great idea. But yeah, but we need to ask that question again because yeah. technology has moved on, people's thoughts about where, where they're going with renewable energy. So I think at the end of the day, we need to ask those questions. We need to ask whether they want us to ban coal imports, for instance, mm. um, whether we should uh, follow the UK with a ban on uh, hydro hydrocarbon driven cars mm. uh, within a certain period period of time and we want to put some targets there so that people can see what we're aiming for uh, with annual reporting so they know what progress we're making. Okay I think Mr P's got some questions to ask you on your statement I think he's going to ask quite a few. Do you, do you feel you've got Tim Wood with you I mean or you I mean, how do you, you view the, uh, the the mood music in there? Well I think most members uh, are, are, are bought into but it's, it's not my department it's cross government and at the end of the day Mr Peake mm. and Mr Shimmons are oh, in, yes, he's on in, as well. yep. in, in Treasury yeah. and uh, I think one of the things that they, 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 they need to be aware of that uh, Treasury has to have buy in as well because all of these aspirations will not come about if we don't get some funding uh, from government uh, at the moment uh, we don't have much real funding available for some of the incentivisation of schemes We've got a legacy housing issue. 80% of our housing stock at the moment uh, that's built uh, will be there in 2050. Now, there is where our significant uh, issues come with addressing. Once the power stations reach the end of its life, it's a legacy housing stock that needs addressing next. And if you look at what they're spending in Scotland, um, they, they're spending six, seven thousand pounds per house on incentivising changes uh, mm. that will address some of the issues like better insulation and uh, better uh, uh, heating systems. That There's a cost of that, isn't there? I mean, we haven't got smart meters or anything like that no well, they're coming they're yes, coming the know, MUA and they're, they're they're making a, a statement yeah. and a DOI as well uh, at the same time as oh they're not making a statement they've got motions yeah. uh, people have questioned why I haven't got a motion before Tim well, well there is no strategy yet it's in development and um, this is a launch of uh, a, a, a consultation process so we we don't need to debate that we know what we're doing with that what we will be debating is the strategy in due course later um, in the year finally uh, what's your take on having uh, school children leave school for this sort of thing I heard you on the radio I think it was almost saying it's okay is, is that how you sound I mean, well, this could be a weekly event all right well I, I, I can't condone it right. <laughs> uh, it, it, it blatantly because it, it, it's, it's, it's a difficult one uh, but I understand where they're coming from and I like the uh, engagement uh, that we're getting here uh, you know we talk about youth parliaments and things like this well this is proper buy-in from uh, uh, the younger generation so that's great but at the end of the day um, you know they need to work with their schools and parents to make sure that they're doing the right thing because uh, you know, one of the placards read um, um, is it uh, home uh, no global, war homework, gl glo global warming is worse than homework but at the end of the day they need a good education so uh, it, they, they have to be you know slightly cautious about where they go but I, I, you know today was great and there were a lot a lot of children there, parents, and I spoke to some of the uh, people who seem to be uh, the leaders, as it were, and I have invited them uh, to the department. I, I thought it probably better to wait maybe nine or ten weeks until we finish the consultation process. Then we can put a roadmap in front of them and show them what we're going to do. And I, I hope they'll be pleased.